the faith of the Old Testament is different from the faith of the New Testament. It will be an insult for you to be applying Old Testament faith under New Testament. Why? Bolato Bolata. I said Gogoya no Koda. Do you pay to speak in tongues? I said Egoya no Moza. I prophesied to the first 1,000. In the next 12 hours, receive a miracle. I said receive a miracle. That door you've been waiting for has just opened for you. It has just opened for you. Possess territories. Break barriers. Shout fire two times. Cross your legs. Sit down. Shout I'm in charge. Listen carefully. Hello. Good morning. Good afternoon. Good evening. How are you doing today? God bless you. I want you to look at this video. I won't have anything to say. I won't have anything to say, but look at this video and tell me who you see in this video. If that person happens to be Dr. Abel Damina. Wow. I never knew, but should I say I never knew? Well, maybe I knew. Maybe I didn't know. Maybe you think you knew. Maybe you don't. I think what I saw in this video, yes, I know a lot of sticks will come. But let us, let us just watch the video. God bless you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much for being here. You'll be blessed. The next one hour you'll be you will receive a miracle. Prophecies for prosperity. Wow. All of them in this video. Do I know anything? Just watch him. I was really blessed. So you will be blessed. In this video, you will be blessed. Amen. Amen. You are welcome to the End Time Truth Television, the channel for the lovers of truth, for the truth of the end time. So if you are a lover of truth, give us a subscription and God bless you. Shalom. from the faith of the New Testament. It will be an insult for you to be applying Old Testament faith under New Testament. Why? Bolato Bolata. I said Gogoya no Koda. Do you pay to speak in tongues? I said Egoya no Moza. I prophesied to the first 1,000. In the next 12 hours, receive a miracle. Receive a miracle. That door you've been waiting for has just opened for you. It has just opened for you. Possess territories. Break barriers. Shout fire two times. Cross your legs. Sit down. Shout I'm in charge. Listen carefully. There is a difference between the faith of the Old Testament and the faith of the New Testament. And this is how to know it. The Old Testament is not a complement of the New Testament. The Old Testament is not a complement of the New Testament. So they cannot work hand in hand. Any attempt to practice the Old Testament in the New Testament is cross-testamental application. Did you hear what I said? Cross testamental application, which produces a bad product. 
The New Testament is a replacement. Is a replacement for the Old Testament. You know why? The Old Testament was powered by the blood of bulls and goats. It was a shadow of good things to come. When you stand by a shadow, there are no details. A shadow has no details. To be able to get the details of a shadow, you've got to go to the object. The Old Testament is a shadow. There are no details in the Old Testament. So to be able to decode what the Old Testament is trying to say, you must come to the New Testament and put on the glasses of the New Testament. Then you look at the Old. Then you can tell the details. The problem with the church is that we are running the two testaments hand in hand. For finding fault with the old, he put it off. Put for me Hebrews 8, 7 first. Let me show you something. I will soon close, don't worry. Hebrews 8, 7. God punished the devil. Put it up. For if that first covenant had been faultless, then should no place have been sought for the second. So the second is not part of the old. The second is a replacement. So when we want to teach you faith, we don't go to Old Testament. We come after the Old Testament. Our faith begins from the cross. So Hebrews 11 is not our faith. Hebrews 11 is not our faith. Put it up. Let me show you. God punished the devil. Hebrews 11. 1. Hey. Are you ready for this? Now. Faith is the substance of things hoped for. The evidence of things not seen. That is say this kind of faith. When you have it, you will never see the you will never see the things. You will have the faith, you will have the evidence, but you can never cash it. That is why. Uh, are you ready for this? So, which people operated this Hebrews 11? Which most of the church, that's where we teach our faith from. He take it away the first that he may establish the second. So listen carefully. Which people operated Hebrews 11 1? And by the way, Hebrews 11 1 is not the definition of faith. It's a description of faith. The Bible is not a dictionary. Stop looking for definitions there. Am I talking to somebody here? Listen. Which people operated Hebrews 11 1? Put verse 2. Everybody read very loud. Hebrews 11 2. Very loud, clean and clear. One to go. For by it... Are you one of the elders? <laughs> Who are those elders? Verse 4. Verse 4. Who are those elders? By faith. <laughs> In fact, listen. When you follow that faith, the Bible says Abraham, under this faith, looked for a city whose builder and maker was God. He thought it was Canaan. When he came to Canaan, he was disappointed. Till he died, he never saw that city. But after Jesus died and rose, the Bible said, we are come to Mount Zion. We are come to the heavenly Jerusalem. We are come to the blood of sprinkling that speaks better things than the blood of Abel. I feel like I'm preaching. If you're catching my flow, shout, I hear, I hear. We are not coming. We are not coming. We have come. So Pastor Paul, I said this to the church. When you are born again, you don't look for faith. Nobody should tell you to look for faith. When you are born again, you don't look for faith. Born again is faith. You can't be born again and be looking for faith. Where? Romans 1 17. Faith comet. That comet is not in the original. Remove it. It was added by translators. It, it, it tampers with the definition. So remove comet. 
Faith is by hearing. It's by hearing. And now that by hearing is comma. Then and hearing the message of Christ. Not the word of God. Not the word of God. The message of Christ. That is message preached with Christ as the center. Because the Bible is a Christocentric book. And carries with it a Christocentric message. So faith comes. Oh, faith is by hearing. Hearing the message of Christ. So what he's saying is. You don't get born again and look for faith. When you hear the message of Christ. That message is faith. That message is faith. The moment it enters you. Faith has entered you. And that faith is final faith. It's not faith in classes. Why in the gospel you had small faith, great faith, and all that is because Jesus had not died. So their faith were described by their actions. After Jesus died, Paul said, I am crucified with Christ. Nevertheless, I live. Yet it is not I, but Christ who lives in me. The life that I now live in the flesh, I live by the faith of the son of God. I live by the faith of the son of God. And the faith of the son of God is not in classes. How do we know that? I'm closing with this. Hebrews 11, 39. Put it up. Eh? Tomorrow morning I still have a session. God punish the devil. <laughs> Hebrews 11, 39. Look at all these people you celebrate. Look at what the Bible says. And this all, having obtained a good report through faith, receive not the promise when you have that kind of faith as a christian you will always keep hoping hoping when it looks like you're arriving the deadline will be postponed you're always hoping and never arriving because that's what happened to these people all of them died without a promise god punished the devil then look at verse 40 god having provided verse 40 verse 40 verse 40 verse 40, verse 40. god bless you brother god having provided some better thing for us that they without us should not be made perfect are you still in the house we are talking about faith to faith here tomorrow i will open it very well for you look at hebrews 12 1 now because of this better thing hebrews 12 1 hold hebrews 12 1 put it up for me we are for see we also are compassed about with so great a cloud of witnesses let us lay aside every weight and the sin which does so easily beset us. And let us run with patience. The race that is set before us. Look at verse 2. Look away. If you get to the original Greek, it says, look away from Abraham. Look away from Moses. Look away from Abel. Look away from them. Look unto. Now listen. Jesus is the author and finisher. So when you come to Christ, you come to finished faith. You come to finished faith. So what do you do now? From faith to faith in Christ now is a function of knowledge. The more you see Jesus, the more your faith expresses itself. Yes. Yes. The more you see Jesus, the more your faith finds expression. So James says, as we look he says we look into the perfect law of liberty he not being a forgetful hearer as you keep looking as you keep looking you are conforming your faith is finding expression so therefore faith is not an educational subject faith is a person jesus is faith the more of jesus you see you move to another level i feel like i'm preaching I declare to you tonight, wherever you're hearing the sound of my voice, whatever does not look like Jesus in your life, as your amen will come like thunder, I flush it out. I flush it out. I rebuke cancers. I rebuke ulcers. I rebuke disease. I rebuke every hold of the enemy. Your body be healed. Your organs be healed. I command your flesh be healed. Your bones be healed. 
We are those who are close against you. He said, I have set before you an open door. No man can shut that door. As your amen will come like thunder, enter that door now. In the next 24 hours, that check you've been waiting for has been released. It has been released. It has been released. It has been released. I speak to those of you here who are waiting for certain appointments and promotions. As your amen will keep the ground running, receive it now. Receive it now. Lift your two hands up. I want to pray right now. Just lift those two hands up. I want to hear your amens like thunder as I pray. Holy Ghost, I declare right now that Jesus be made manifest in the lives of your people. As you meditate on this word, I command Jesus to be made manifest. Barriers are broken right now. Delays are cancelled. Stagnation is eradicated. As you are hearing the sound of my voice, you are blessed. Blessed in the city. From this day, whatever you touch will produce bountifully. In Jesus' precious name. Can I hear that amen like thunder? Now, well, anyway, you have come to the end of the video. If you actually, you actually watched up for this time, it means that you are an, an interesting fellow. So please tell us who was that bad in that video? Who was that man? Was that Paul Nenche or maybe who? was that you know i will speak in parables sometimes you see the people will call a face they say there is no god there is no god there is no god there is no god when they are faced you know with uh, challenges maybe some dangerous situation you hear them exclaim oh my god yet they tell you there is no god if you understand, you understand. My brethren, read the Bible for yourself. Oh. Read the Bible for yourself. I think the person you saw there was the original Abel Damina. In fact, somebody did put it in a way. Well, I don't care. I don't care what you say. Somebody put it in a way. I'm not going to read the comments. Let me find out how this brother put it. He said, the real Eber Damina two minutes ago, before he put it into something he calls grace gospel. This from <laughs> my brother Sam Elijah. Ah, yeah, yeah. Are people in the comment section, I know we talk with the talk here. Uh, but anyway, thank you and God bless you. Uh, what, what I'm saying is that uh, Jesus is real. And you see, when people begin, begin to invent things, now they will deny certain things. But when they are returning to those things they deny, they won't even know because it is natural. Quite natural. You know, you know. I bless you in the name of the our Lord Jesus. Thank you. I'll meet you again in the next video. Till then, I'll meet you. Shalom. Mm -hmm.